One very exciting feature in Drumagog 5 Platinum is plugin hosting. Using the plugin hosting option, you can now trigger any VST instrument from Drumagog itself. That means that any additional VSTIs that you have installed on your system, you can use their sounds and, and trigger them from inside Drumagog without having to bounce to MIDI or anything like that as, as you would in, in previous versions of Drumagog. You can simply load the virtual instrument into Drumagog and trigger it directly. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at how that would be set up. Uh, first, we need to access the plugin section. That's the last button in Drumagog Platinum on the, on the right side there. So let's switch over there. And now we see our controls. Um, we have Easy Drummer by TuneTrack installed on this system. So that's what we're going to, to use here. So we go to the top drop-down menu, and we see the list of installed uh, VSTIs on our system, which at the moment is Easy Drummer. You double-click to load it, and we now see the normal Easy Drummer interface. Because it works by hosting a single instance of the instrument, we're just replacing one sound. In this case, we have Drumagog inserted on the snare track. Um, but Easy Drummer, by default, has loaded its full kit. So what we're first going to do is unload this entire drum kit. This is an Easy Drummer. We're just going to go to the preset window and choose None in Easy Drummer. And you can see the memory usage suddenly drop back down to zero. Um, and since we're loading uh, a snare, we're just going to go in and go to this, uh, the 14-inch Rogers snare. Um, and let's go ahead and click on that to load it. So now the only sound that we have loaded in this e Easy Drummer is the one that we need, which is the snare drum. And you can see if we click on, on it, just uh, like normal, um, it plays that particular snare back, just like this was running any other way, except the audio is being um, uh, sent through Drumagog. So the only other thing that we need to do is just align the, uh, the MIDI notes of the two uh, plugins. Drumagog, by default, is uh, going to trigger uh, MIDI note C3. And Easy Drummer, by default, for the snare, uses MIDI note A0. So I need to change one or the other. It's probably simpler to change it with, uh, um, with Drumagog. So we just go to the MIDI note window, click on it, and we just need to scroll and find A0 on the list. And let's go ahead and bring Easy Drummer back into the front and let's hit play in our project and see what happens. We're now listening to Easy Drummer. You can see, the, uh, you can see it getting loaded. Uh, if we want, we can use all the functions of Easy Drummer, including the mixer section. So let's click in the mixer for Easy Drummer and let's bring up like the uh, room, the very last channel, so we can hear the Easy Drummer rooms. adjust this exactly how you like, but all the options of Easy Drummer work just like they normally do. It's uh, just instead of using a MIDI track as the source, Drumagog is now trigger triggering it live as it plays. So you can go ahead and, and set all this up, load presets, whatever you have uh, with your Easy Drummer setup. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, all we're doing is triggering an instrument like Easy Drummer. Of course, this works with any other virtual drum kit like BFD or battery. Um, or really any other uh, VSTI. That's that's all that this uh, needs to be. So uh, we can go in and, and uh, um, you know tweak our sounds here in, in Easy Drummer. We can even blend Easy Drummer with the selected snare in the plugin window. We can just go to the mix control, and if we move it back towards Drumagog, it'll go back towards our Noble Cooley snare uh, that we had selected. So you can even blend. Um, both Easy Drummer and uh, Drumagog's outputs together. So now we're actually stacking uh, the sound between Drumagog and Easy Drummer. So that's just a simple little overview of plugin hosting. Uh, it's really exciting and, and a really cool way to, to open up uh, Drumagog Platinum uh, to any sound uh, in any virtual instrument that you have on your system.